Hi, I'm Don Smith from Real Power, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect and operate a Real Power backup generator truck to provide emergency power to your building. The truck behind me is a 2020 Ford F550 with a 60 kilowatt Real Power AC generator system. The generator is mounted underneath the truck and it outputs power to this cabinet here on the driver's side. When we take a look inside, we can see the operator panel on the left and the connection panel here on the right. The operator panel has a main disconnect switch that energizes and de-energizes the entire system. An emergency stop that automatically kills the PTO system when pressed, an hour meter, indicator light, power meter, and a convenience plug. Most importantly, there is a voltage selector switch on the side that activates one or the other of two sets of connectors on the connection panel on the right. The upper row is for 480 volt power and the bottom row is for 208 volt power. To get started, we're gonna leave the truck off and begin with the building connection. First, locate the real power connection panel and determine whether it's 480 volt or 208 volt. Grab the appropriate cables from the truck. Only one set will match the size and color of the panel and bring them out. I've laid out as an example, this 208 volt, 800 amp panel. And the first thing you'll notice is that none of the doors will open except for the green ground pin. This is intentional. It ensures that all of the cables are plugged in in the correct sequence to ensure safe connections. Also note, the cables are one way directional. The end of this cable is the female connector and the panel connection is a male inlet. It's gonna be the opposite way on the truck side. Lift the green door, push in the connector, and twist. Now the white neutral door can open, followed by plugging in the white cable and the three phases, black, red, and blue. Back at the truck side, you're going to repeat the same process. Take all five cables and run them through this trap door here. Take notice, the cable on the truck side has a male pin and the door has a female receptacle. Okay, now that everything's plugged in, it's time to turn on the truck. The procedure in here is actually pretty simple. Just set the parking brake, turn on the truck, and hit the PTO switch. Once you do, the engine will automatically ramp to the correct RPM and the generator has power. This vehicle is also equipped with the Real Power Secure Truck feature, which means once you're started, you can take the key out, leave the truck, and lock the door behind you. Now that the system is running, hit the main disconnect and turn the selector switch to 208 volts. Obviously, if you're using 480 volts, you'll set it for 480. With those two levers set, you'll see power at the meter and a green indicator light turn on next to the correct connection panel. At this point, you're ready to transfer power into the building via the ATS or the manual transfer switch as indicated in your site-specific operations manual. This vehicle is capable of producing about 75 amps of 480 volt power or about 150 amps of 208 volt power. As you begin the process of turning on circuit breakers within the building, Keep an eye on the amperage on each phase at the voltmeter within the truck. If any one phase begins to have a current greater than the rating, back off a little bit and try to rebalance the loads where possible. When you're ready to stop, follow the same procedures in reverse. Turn off the main disconnect, shut down the truck, disconnect the cables at the building side from right to left, and then at the truck side from right to left. If you need any information about any of these steps or if you have questions, please email the address listed on the screen or call the phone number. I'm Don Smith from Real Power. Thanks for watching.